I want to give you a tool now to undo fear. And it is the principle of dominion. So some of you, we talked about this already. You guys were asking questions that were all about this class. That's okay. Let's go over it again because it's powerful. It's powerful. This is the principle of dominion. Now, many of you know, like when God created the heaven and the earth, you know, he gave man dominion. We learn about this in various sacred texts and that's correct. We have dominion over the planet. Obviously we're totally wrecking it, but we're in control of this planet. But what this really was communicating that we need to pay attention to is that we have dominion over this dimension that we're in, over this particular earth reality and incarnation reality. You have dominion, you have control, you have sovereignty. I have long said that we live in a very diverse spiritual ecosystem. Like if we could see all of the different beings that we cohabitate with in this dimension, like that would freak us out. So thank goodness that we don't, but we share it with many, many beings, all sorts of beings. And the one thing that all those beings have in common is they already know that you have dominion. They also know when you don't know that you have dominion. This is how we have harassing spirits. This is how we have oppressive and possessive spirits. It's when the person that they are harassing or oppressing does not understand that they have dominion. Jesus Christ said, get into that herd of swine. And the demons that were occupying a man at the time pled for their life. They didn't fight back or argue about it. They said, please, no. And Jesus said, get into that herd of swine. And it runs into the sea. Jesus knew. I have dominion and if I tell you to do it, demon, you better do it and they do it. This is the power that we need to occupy. This is the power that Christ the avatar and Christ consciousness emits. Christ as he's walking down the street, <laughs> just chilling with his homies, I like to say, just hanging out with his disciples and people, wasn't doing anything. He wasn't directing anything. He was just existing in a vibration of dominion and power all the time. And as a result of that, as he's walking down the street, a lady reaches out and just touches the hem of his garment. And she is immediately healed of a lifelong issue of blood. And Christ, being a vibratory being, understands there was just an energetic transaction and he stops and he communicates with the woman. But she felt his dominion because he was running that dominion. Everybody around Christ could feel that dominion. Now, I'm not saying that you're going to get to the level of that kind of dominion right now or even quickly, but that's where we are headed. Now, let me give you an example of what dominion actually feels like in your body. And I gave this example last week, but I love this example and I want to share it with you because you're going to get in touch with what I'm talking about. Imagine if you were walking into your home and your child, who's maybe five or six years old, is in the other room and you're walking, they can't see you yet. And as you're walking in, you realize somebody is in the room with your child. You don't know who it is. And you can hear this person speaking evil crap over your kid, saying the worst things to your child about who that child is. What would you do? Would you be afraid? Because I wouldn't. <laughs> would you be anxious and doubtful? I wouldn't. What would I do? I would walk into that room and I would grab whoever that was by the scruff of the neck. And I don't care if that guy's 300 pounds and I would direct him out of my house, away from my kid, away from my life, because I have dominion over my child. I have dominion over this house. You can't be here, yo. You got to go. That's what I do. And I would be in my power about it. I would not waver for a moment. And that dude would know I got to bounce. And that's exactly what that dude would do. I would make him like, we're not even going to talk about what I do. That would be terrible. That's what dominion feels like though. That feeling where you're walking in and you've got this righteousness in you and you're protective of your space. You're protective of your beautiful magic. You're protective of your spirit. That's what it feels like. It is not about being pissed off. It is not about being the cock of the block. It's about knowing who it is that you are in this dimension. Are you listening? 
knowing that you have dominion. There is no other spirit. There is no other entity. There's no thought form. There's no uhani noho, as we call them in Hawaii. There's no being, whether they're benign or not, that gets to come into your hizzy, which is your field, unless you allow it. And so why is this important? Because if we're going to be working with divination, if we're going to be working with spirit communication, if we're going to be working with our spirit guides and our angels, we cannot be having the spirit of fear in us. And the way to not have fear is to know who you are in this scenario. The way to not have fear is to walk into the room and grab it by the scruff of the neck and direct it out. That's who you are. You're sovereign in your space. And the sooner you know that, the sooner everybody else in this dimension says, oh, she knows she's got this dominion. <laughs> he knows he's got the power. So we're not going to mess with them. Crystal Ann Compton is not messed with, as I said. I don't get messed with by spirits, by entities, by thought forms. And if I were to be, I wouldn't be scared. I would know immediately what I had to do. Now I might startle. Sure. If there's an evidence or if I walk into a room and there's a dead person that might startle me. Right. And that would probably startle you. That's okay. We're human beings. That's going to happen. The key here is to catch yourself in midst, in the midst of that startlement and redirect it. So I have learned to very quickly move away from the automatic fear reaction, which is okay, and into my dominion, like accentuate, amplify, let me run this dominion. And as soon as I do that, the issue goes away. And that's how you do it as well. Things might be happening over the course of the next few weeks. Evidences might be popping up. Things might actually startle you. Catch yourself and remember that you're sovereign in your space.